Hey John, or maybe it's Jack. Anyways, uh, last time we had talked, you were interested to know how I apply asphalt on my amber types. And uh, this is the most recent one, so I thought I would try and show you what my process looks like. Good luck. Okay, so I've got this nice amber type that I took of Jude last week. Kind of see what we're thinking it's going to look like. 8 by 10 on clear glass. I use uh, Gilsonite. Uh, from Angel Gilding. It's a mirror supply company. Uh, some painter's tape and a little spongy uh, paint applier. So the next step is to apply some painter's tape about a sixteenth of an inch around the edges. Uh, this is on the collodion side so you have to be careful not to uh, fingerprint the uh, the image side of the glass. So the uh, Gilsonite is uh, asphaltum that's been uh, dissolved into uh, mineral spirits and so it is very uh, drippy and gooey and makes a big mess if you get this where you don't want it. I usually just spoon out a big puddle in the middle and then use the uh, foam brush to kind of roll it around. Once I feel like I've got a nice puddle and I'll just kind of lightly move it around with the roller trying to spread it evenly across the whole picture. last step that uh, Mr. Shane uh, Balkowitz uh, mentioned to me was cleaning up these foam brushes so you don't have to reuse or repurchase a new one every time is just to take them and run them on a piece of paper and uh, get all the asphalt off of it and then uh, keep doing this until most of the stuff is clear and then just set it out to dry and you can reuse it the next time. So here I'm pretty much to the end. I've gotten most of the asphalt off of the brush, the roller brush. So I've just been stacking these papers on top of each other as I go through them and then throw them away in the trash can. And that is pretty much it. If you did get some uh, asphaltum somewhere where you don't want it, then you can always take some uh, mineral spirits to uh, clean it up. So I've got a few spots here. and. Uh, clean up my spoon and reuse it the next time. So here we are after about four hours of cooking in the sun and I usually come out and kind of peel the tape off right about this time. So it'll still uh, take a fingerprint if you touch it so I'm going to leave it out here for a little bit longer but uh, at least now we can kind of see, see the image and the bright sun. Looks good and it'll be ready in a day or two. Okay, so here's our final plate, and it's been baking out in the uh, sun all day, so it's got a nice glossy black finish on the back of it. And uh, if you take a look at the front, you have an idea of what the picture looks like. So we got a nice finish looking at the, at the uh, collodion layer through the glass, so we can clean the front of this with Windex or whatever to keep the dust off of it, so no big deal. And then last thing is to take a little bit of uh, poster board that's got some adhesive on it and then uh, drop that on and uh, cover up the, the sticky uh, asphalt that's on there. There it is. Good luck, John. Let's uh, see some pictures with that new camera you got.